Annie with Annie Might Be Interesting. I'm just gonna do a really quick cleanup in here. My husband has gone to the grocery store. He's going to make some ash burgers tonight. And I just needed to clean the kitchen real fast because it's Saturday and we didn't do any housework in here yesterday. So I've got to clean the kitchen. I should have showed you the dishes before I loaded the dishwasher. How three people can make so many dishes in what a day and a half? I don't know. So, anyways, quick cleanup so that it's cleared out when he gets home. You guys wanna clean with me today? baking soda treatment on my hair to lighten it. <laughs> you see, what had happened was I dyed it blonde and it was pointed out to me that it was red and not blonde. So then I went ahead and dyed it red because I was angry at my hair and it was a little dark and now I'm trying to get the red to come back out. And I did that this morning It says one to two shades lighter, it usually does. And I think it did. I don't know. What do y'all think about this hair? Comment below and let me know. I'm gonna maybe go blonde. Maybe. Let me know. Should I keep it like this? Or should I make it blonde?
show this to you. It's dirty, I'm gonna clean it, but this was given to my husband and I as a gift. And at first I was like, I've never seen anything like that before. What is this? It's a little salt and pepper holder, or I mean, whatever you want, but it is so convenient to have this beside the stove when you're cooking so that you can just grab a pinch of salt and throw it in there or pepper it. So you guys, maybe you should get one. Anyway. show you guys this cute little sign that I made. Do you remember back when Tuscan was huge and in style? Well, this was a little frame with a picture of wine and grapes. And when I switched how I was doing things in the house, I took the picture out, it was just paper pretty much, and I covered the frame in this burlap material that I purchased at Walmart and just stapled it on there. And then I took a piece of a little paper bag, lunch bag, like a, I have a whole pack that I got my son for when he goes on field trips. I just took a little piece and tore it and then wrote, y'all eat yet? And I put little, um, push pins that were blue because I got a blue theme going on in here, white, blue, and silver. And so I thought that was like a little extra touch to make it cute. And I don't know, can you see this? That little spot there. I just hot glued the back of the pin so it would stay in because it was just the burlap. think about these countertops now the back splash here has not been completed yet so ignore that part but what about these countertops I'm thinking I might redo this because I don't really like how it turned out but the ones over on the <laughs> you can't see the one over here but the little side ones that I did, I've got two over here behind me as well. They turned out excellent, I think. But that, I'm not so sure about. And my husband's not so sure about. I told him I just, for some reason I wasn't as talented on the day that I did the, the bigger middle section than I was on the day that I did these smaller sections. I was much more talented this day than I was on this day. Wanna see? We'll see. See, look at this. I really like how this turned out. Okay, so these things, I'm leaving this out because he's gonna use that to cook. That is a dog bowl, needs to go up. This 
<laughs> this is a really beautiful bowl that needs to go in my front room. And these are pieces of trim from the cabinets that need to go back on. So I'm going to leave those there because I'm going to work on that Monday. And if they're not there where I can see them, I might forget this lamp. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna clean around this, this, this thing. Uh, and I'll show you that bowl. It's backwards. It's a touch dirty right now, but look at this. Can you see the inside? It's white and then silver. And it's heavy. You see the edges? My sister-in-law gave this to me for a Christmas gift one year and it's beautiful. The camera does not do it justice, but I usually sit it on the front table. With this inside of it. And it's really cute. So all the front table that she'll go. This is a cute little like glass I don't know what it's called, but it's adorable. And it came from my husband's grandmother's house. See the edges. It needs cleaned a little bit right now. It gets dirty in the kitchen, but I use it to hold my rings in. Like when I'm cleaning or whatever, I just take them off and throw them in the dish so that they don't get messed up. And I just keep them in there and I don't lose them and they're safe from water or slipping off and you know how things go. Cute! Husband's grandmother. grandmother's house. American Window Glass Company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm not really sure what came in here. I should probably look it up, but we thought it was cool. And this is what holds our spices in the kitchen. watching friends and if you wouldn't mind go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel maybe share it with some of your friends love you bye